Welcome back. This is Reich. It's been a little bit of a while. Last time we just beat the very first area of like the end game kind of thing, and today's going to be the Temple of Flame. Like, like last time, this is a very short level. It's split into three distinctive parts, and it's really annoying, and I don't like it a whole lot because it relies on a whole bunch of finickiness of the enemy AI because you are going to be, just like the previous flame stages, you're going to be aiming a whole bunch of those bombs and it's you gotta like have good setups going into it so here literally you just charge a shot and let it go immediately because it doesn't matter because you will hit those no matter what aim, oh I aimed at two, four, too low you want to aim it right about like that and I hit three, three is good you want to either break the top two or three or all four like that because all four gives you a free hop over. And the gun and sword are both really useful for this. Or, that's why, oh shit, you don't need to break one right here because you're good. Aim, if you hit late, you can hit both of those with the sword. Here you want to literally knock them down as early as possible. Here you want to, oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And where's that guy coming out? Come on, man, I need you. So he is just going to get sent way up there. And now I'm going to be triggering the dude at the bottom. And once that guy goes, jump over, fire it as a shot. And see, everything's still good. So that was the first part. There's no more of that. Here's a whole bunch of enemies. This is where like you grind your enemy score up, basically. And so what you need is your little chain rod so you can rip that off and then do that. Some of that. Oh, come on. He interrupted me in the middle of my attack. That's not cool. And you have to make sure to break that guy because if you try to jump over to this without breaking him, he will knock you off the platform. And it's really annoying to get set back up there. So here's some lava dodging. And make sure to wait for that seal cannon fire. Here you gotta rip his shield off immediately and start chaining him because if you let him fire off his attack, he will knock you into the door. Okay, nearly died there. Here's the last part, the, the final part of this stage. You, it's basically breakable platforms and lava dodging. And there's a lot of accidentally triggering the platforms early, as seen right there. Jump to the far back one so you miss the shot right there. And basically, you don't, that's the end. Okay, boss. Boss time. You don't have to worry about time or health in this one. This boss really, really easy, because as you're about to see, it would be harder to fight the first version of this boss, to be honest, because it's Fafnir again, but he's going to be upgraded this time around. And so he's going crazy about that dark elf. Harpuya is trying to deal with him. Yeah, get ready for a fight. He basically turns into a giant tank that has five parts: him and four cannons. Each of the four cannons can be hit at the same time. So if you hit them with two or three charged saber slashes, they all are broken. And then he goes to his default attack. Okay, yeah, this attack does a fair bit of damage. I already broke two of, two of them, and now he just has the bottom two. So now it's basically this attack until he dies. Oh, I forgot to change into a gun. You need to change to the gun. Oh. And yeah, that's it. This is literally the entire boss fight. Uh, it's not hard. I'm just messing it up because I don't want to die. And pressure, whatnot. But yeah, you got to make sure to not shoot at the full height of your jump. And it, it almost looks like I'm like racing him with that tiny bullet. There we go. See, boss fight easy. I'm going to get Ness rank because time, enemy count, like I blasted through all that. See, enemy count, damage. I took a fair amount. There's no denying that, but everything else, like it's just straight into S rank. Not really that difficult. And Fafnir is going to be saying some curse words. And what's the problem? And Fafnir realizes he sucks. So he's going to be sent out of there. I don't actually know what happens next because I've never seen this scene. A new coordinate axis. Now you can return here anytime you want. So please return to the base. Will do. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this episode unless there's some cutscene I don't know about. I don't imagine there is, but we have to confirm before I actually just cut this off because that'd be really weird. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, with that, I will see all of y'all next time. Uh, oh yeah, she was saying a whole bunch of things about how she was worried about me. You know what? Fuck that. I'll see all y'all next time.